Hello, welcome to Exam Recall. Today we are going to solve the day 17 of August Lead Code Challenge. So today's problem name is Distribute Candies to People. So basically, if you have not read the problem statement, you can pause the video and you can read the problem statement. So it's saying that we will be given two input. One is the total number of candies and another input will be total number of people. So we need to design one algorithm and using that algorithm, we need to divide candies among, to the, among the given number of people, right? So what will be the what will be the constant or what what are the criteria to distribute? So let's see that. So basically there can be there, there are two examples. So for the example one, suppose our can, number of candies is seven and total number of people is four, right? So what we need to do for the first person, I need to assign one. I need to distribute one candy, right? So my total number of remaining candies will be six. For, and whenever I will move to the next person, I will I need to assign i plus one. So one plus one, right? So I need to assign, I need to distribute two candies. So if I distribute two candies, then total my remaining can candies will be left, will be four, right? For the third person, I am, I need to, I need to distribute three candies, right? So my remaining candies will be three, uh, one, sorry. And for the fourth one, I don't have left, right? So ideally we should assign or we should distribute four candies. But in this case, I have only left with only one candies, right? So in this scenario, whatever is left, we are going to assign that to that uh, to that person, right? So in this case, we are going to assign or distribute one candies to the last person, right? And we need to return this output, right? One, two, three, one. So this is the expected output. So this is one scenario, and there can be another scenario. Suppose our candies is twelve total twelve, right? So let's see for twelve. So again, for the first person, we need to assign one initially. So my candies left will be eleven. Again, for the second person, we need to assign two. Candies left will be nine. Again, for the th third person, it will be three. So it we will left with six. Again, for the fourth person, we need to assign four. In this case, we have six left, so it will be remain two. So now again, so this this, this is for the first row, right? Or 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 one iteration. I can you can think. Now we still have two candies left to, to distribute. So how we can distribute the two? Then whenever we are done with the first iteration, we will again start from the first person. I, again, we will go to that first go to the go to the first position, and we need to dis distribute. So what will be the distribution formula for the second iteration? Second iteration or onwards, right? It should be n plus one. So every time I need to for the first person, I need to distribute n plus one from the second or onwards, second iteration or onwards, right? So I have two. So ideally, first person will get n is our four here in this case. So four n is nothing but number of people. So first person should get five candies, right? But we still we have only two candies left. So whatever is left, I am going to ask, and I am going to distribute that to the first person. So it was earlier one, and I am going to distribute two. So it will be three. Okay. So this is how it will work. So for the so suppose for in the second iteration, first person will get five. Second person will be will get four plus two. So it should be six. So this is how it will go, right? It will go on. For third person again, it will be it will be four plus three, right? Four plus three, and it will be seven. So this is how it will go on, right? We need to divide. We need to distribute till our candies number of candies is zero, right? So let's write the code uh, for the same. So what we can do? So you can understand that we need to run one loop, right? So before that, we need to declare one array, right? So let's declare that quickly. So let me name it as array. And what will be the size of the array? It should be new int, and it should be the given uh, total number of people, right? So let me declare that first quickly. So this is will this will be our array which we going we we going to return at the end. So let's write that also return array. Now we need to distribute, right? We need to write logic for distribute. So what we can do? We can take one variable call index something like this, and it should be initially zero again. Till when we should run our for loop, it should run till my candies is greater than zero, right? Whenever it is zero, we are going to stop because we, we will not we we will not have any more candies to distribute, right? So again, after that, again I need to you know, increment my index every time, right? So now what I need to do initially everything will be zero, right? Since it's an integer array, everything will be zero. So we need to increment the value, right, of that particular cell. So initially everything will be zero, right? Like this, no. I need to check my i value. Whatever is my i value, I am going to assign it to that person, right? So it will be array. Then again, so uh, to make it short, we know the suppose we have number of. Uh, so let's think up, think about the second scenario, right? Here we need to iterate through our 
add a two i's right because the total number is greater than 10 right so we will be left with two two more candies after first iteration right so we need to consider those scenario also so to consider those scenario what i need to do what we can do index percentage so since i can go above beyond four right since we have in i or index right so we are in we are incrementing index but our array size is four but so that we should always assign what we should uh, we should update value of our array between 0 to 3 only right it should not go behind 3 beyond 3 right so we need to consider that logic else it will throw array out of bound exception right so what i need to do index percentage num people so suppose what it will do so, suppose we are done with first iteration my now now my index value is 4 so 4 means 4 percentage 4 it will get it remainder is 0 so for for the fourth value i am going to assign the candy for the first person right so this is how it will work okay so what will be the its value so its value should be add a okay so this is how we are going to track the index to avoid the exception now what i need to assign so it should be either math so there can be two scenario right so one scenario i have enough candies left or another scenario we do we don't have much uh, we don't have enough number of candies left so whatever is the left item we need to assign to that particular person right so we can use math.mean function and mean of index plus 1 or candies whatever okay so whatever is the minimum we are going to assign that to that particular person right so it will be like this okay and using this we are considering both scenario right so using this we are considering both scenario one scenario is like this initial where we have enough candies and another scenario is we, we, we will not have enough can, candies to distribute so that we can whatever is left over item we can assign that to that person right so using this math.mean we are considering those two scenario right in single line okay so once we are done with that we need to decrement or decrease our can, number of candies value right so it should be candies equal to candies minus i plus 1 right i plus 1 why why plus 1 because array index start from 0 for the 0th person i need to assign 1 right so every time it will be plus 1 so it is i plus 1 here is also right i plus or index plus 1 right so i think that's pretty much this i think that's pretty much for this code let's try to run it and check whether it's compiling or not okay i think it's compiling and it's giving me expected answer let's submit our answer and check uh, whether it's accepted or not i think it's accepted and so let's try to do some code work through and try to analyze the time complexity and space complexity for this uh, portion of code right for this piece of code okay so okay so let's do some code work through so at first what we are doing we are taking one array and the array size will be the given number of people then we are running one for loop our for loop will run till my candies is greater than zero once it's zero we are going to stop and we are going to return the array right so now at first initially uh, we are going to we will start from i will be zero right or index will be zero whatever the i value i am going to assign that to that person right initially but there can be two scenario right so at, at the at the first iteration so i i still i equals to zero to i equal to three we are done now my i value is four so to avoid the exception we are taking the percentage the remainder value right so every time my i value will be between zero to three and so there can be one scenario right so suppose we need to assign in the second iteration we need to assign five candies to the first person but we have only two left right so in this case we are going to return uh, assign the minimum one right so that's it that is what we are doing using this math.mean function and once we are done we are just decrementing the value of the candies right so it should and it's index plus one because its value uh, because uh, array index start from zero but we need to assign every time uh, for zero index we need to assign always plus one so it's plus one I think that's pretty much for this code and what is the time complexity here so basically the time complexity is, is depends on the total number of candies so it's order of k you can see and we are not using any 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 uh, we are not using any extra spaces so we are we are solving it in in the constant space right I think that's pretty much for this video thanks thanks for watching bye bye